It's Kingdom of Boxing. I'm back, man. I just rolled my spliff. So I'm ready to drop some content on Anthony Joshua vs. Hellenius. Let me light my bitch up from. So it's Anthony Joshua vs. Robert Hellenius. What do I think of the matchup? Well, obviously, there could have been better matchups. There was a lot of other names. Apparently, Ruiz was calling out AJ. There was the other guy on the undercard. They don't really know him too tough. What's his name? Kolodnikov or Rodnikov or something like that. <laughs> Cherodnikov. Do you know what the thing is as well? A lot of people might think I can't be speaking my videos. But do you know what it is? It's the fact that in my day-to-day -day life, I never really use boxing language. I will never really use the word Errol Spence or Robert Hellenius or like somebody like that in my day-to-day -day life because most of my friends, they don't, they're not into boxing. So I'm saying they, they'll keep up to date with a few fights here and there, but it's nobody I can really talk to, like, you know, about hardcore boxing and get into debates with and like shit like that. They're more into UFC, to be honest with you. But they will watch like the big fights and stuff like that, obviously. But as I'm saying, there's a few names out there for AJ. And Robert Hellenius to me, it's not it's not the worst it's not the worst name out there. It's a decent it's a decent name. He's well known in the heavyweight division. Very well known in the heavyweight division. Especially after what Wilder did to him. But we can't focus on what Wilder did to him in one round. Also, um, who else knocked him out? There's another guy that knocked him out. I think Gerald Washington knocked him out as well. But we can't focus on that. AJ just got, got to go in there and just perform how he can perform, you know? So there was plenty of fighters out there he could have chose, but he chose Robert Hellenius. Hellen Hellen and like I say, I don't mind it. It's a half decent fight, right? Like I said, we've seen what Wilder did to him, okay, but we can't focus on what Wilder does in his career. AJ just got to focus on him and move forward with him, all right? And not only that, but Robert Hellenius is actually a very dangerous fighter, in my opinion, especially for Anthony Joshua. Firstly, the guy's like six foot fucking eight, six foot nine. He's definitely taller than AJ. The guy's got a great one-two with power. The guy's got power. The guy's a confident fighter, you know? He's been around the block a lot, a few times. So, and uh, what else? He, uh, do you know what? He's actually got very underrated power and footwork, from, for my opinion, because he has a great one-two-one. -one. I wish I could be asked and show you what the one-two-one -one is, where you throw your right hand and um, you come back with your left hand. I could have showed you, I could have made a video and showed you, or just show a video of like Terence Crawford, like the first Terence Crawford versus Errol Spence knockdown. It was like a 2-1, right? But it's like, it's not just a 2-1 where you're standing there. You throw the two where your weight's over your front foot and you come back with a one where you switch, where you transfer your weight back to your back foot as you throw the one and it puts you back into position, right? Because when you throw the right hand, you're leaning over. So as you come back with a one again, it puts you back into position. And transfers your weight there and like you might see Crawford do that or certain special fighters do that in the divisions in the lighter weight divisions but hardly ever do you see people in the heavyweight division throw the one two one like that or the two one like that but Robert Hellenius has that he has very good footwork for a heavyweight his size I don't even see Tyson Fury doing the one two one like that you know it's a very once you learn it's a very simple move but to use it in a fight the way he does, hats off to him. So like I say, AJ, you better watch out, fam. Because if this guy lands a one-two, a clean right hand on AJ, we know what AJ's going to do, right? We know what he's going to do. So it could be a potential upset for all you crazy betting fans out there. I go stick a few quid on Robert Hellenius, like something that wouldn't hurt. Because the odds will be good. And... Um, you never know with Robert Hellenius's power and his size and you never know he might actually really want this fight he might have been thinking about over these last four five six seven eight years he's been fighting he's probably thinking the back of his mind when he trains and that I'll probably get AJ one day I'm gonna get ready for AJ you never know right
So he could have been waiting for this moment his whole life. And it's here. And it's just going to shock the world. But I don't see it personally. Personally, I'm going to go with Anthony Joshua, fifth round knockout. Five or six rounds. Five or six round knockout. Because I believe Anthony Joshua wants to get a few rounds in. He's obviously getting prepared for the Deontay Wilder fight. And... He's trying to be active. It's no point going in there trying to blast a man out in a couple of rounds, not really getting a feel for things. And at the same time, you're trying to prepare for a, a fight, right? Don't make sense. So, yeah. I believe he'll take a few rounds to have a look at Robert Hellenius. Robert Hellenius is a quite slow starter, actually, as well. So, I think he'll take a few rounds to look at him and by round four, round five, just let his hands go and get the job done. That's what I see happening. Another great thing about this fight is it's not on pay-per-view. We've kicked Dylan White, Dylan White out the back door. Boom, he's gone. And not only that, but the fucking pay-per-view price is gone as well. So we're getting this Anthony Joshua versus Robert Hellenius fight. And a half-decent undercard. I don't know about the first half, but the second half, like I said, with the Provodnikov or whatever his name is, the heavyweights there. There's a few heavyweight fights I'm looking at. That was half decent. And there was like a, one or two middleweight fights, I think, that was half decent. I'm not too sure, but I'll be tuned in anyway. So it's a half decent undercard. And the main event, could you never know, it could be fireworks. You always have to tune into these because you just never know. So I'm going to be tuning into this. I'm going to go with a Anthony Joshua fifth round TKO win. Let me know in the comment section who you got. Let me know what you think of the video. Kingdom of Boxing, I'm gone.